Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to push a local Docker image in a Docker Hub. In this lecture, we will see how to pull a Docker image from the Docker Hub and run that Docker image in a Docker container. Well, if you can see the general Docker workflow here. So once we push the Docker image in a Docker Hub, then we can pull that Docker image from the Docker Hub and we can deploy in different environments. Okay. So in this lecture, let's see how to pull a Docker image from the Docker Hub and run that Docker image in a Docker container. So let me go to Docker Hub over here and let me log in into Docker Hub account. And here you can see I have a couple of repositories in a Docker Hub. And now let me show you how to pull the Docker repositories from Docker Hub. So here let me pull this repository that is Java Guides slash Spring Boot Docker Demo. So Spring Boot Docker Demo is a repository under Java Guides Docker ID. Okay. So in, in order to pull this repository or a Docker image, we need to enter this entire you know path. Okay. For example, if you go to terminal and just enter Docker pull command over here, let's say Docker pull and then followed by Java Guides is a Docker ID and then followed by the image name or the repository name. For example, Spring Boot Docker demo and hit enter and look at here by default it will look for the tag with the name latest so here we got the error because the latest tag is not exist for example if you go to docker hub over here and if you go to tags for this repository you can see the tag present is 0.1 release there is a no latest tag present for this repository okay so just type this tag in a command let me re-enter the command docker full followed by java guide slash spring boot docker demo and then followed by the tag that is 0.1 release hit enter and there we go now we can able to successfully pull this docker image or repository from the docker hub okay and here just type the command docker images to just check whether the image is present in a local machine or not okay so image is already exist so let me pull another docker image for example if you go to docker hub and here just search for one of the you know docker image for example let me pull mysql docker image so just go to docker image official image and let me go to tags over here and let me pull the mysql docker image with latest tag okay so just go to terminal here just type docker pull followed by mysql and then followed by the tag that is latest and then hit enter and here you can see it will take a couple of seconds to pull the docker image from the docker hub now you can able to see downloaded newer image for this particular repository okay in order to check whether this image is downloaded in our machine or not we just type the command docker images and there we go repository is mysql and tag is latest okay so here let me clear it and let me pull one more image so here let me pull mariadb docker image and go to official docker image over here and go to tags so let's pull mariadb latest okay so go to terminal and here just type the command docker pull and followed by mariadb and then latest so if you don't mention the latest tag then by default it will pull the mariadb image with latest tag okay so hit enter and if you can notice here using default tag latest so we haven't mentioned the tag in a command that's why by default it is using latest tag okay so it will take couple of seconds to pull this mariadb image from the docker hub so just wait for a couple of seconds and there we go you can able to see the status downloaded newer image for mariadb latest okay so in order to check whether this image is present in our local machine or not just type the command docker images and there we go you can able to see mariadb latest and this image is created seven days ago so this is how we pull the docker image from the docker hub next let me show you how to run one of the docker image in a docker container so let's see how to run this mysql docker image in a docker container okay so here let me quickly type the command 
docker run followed by minus p option to map the port so here we are mapping the container port with the host os port and followed by the container name that is localhost and followed by we define some of the environment variables like the mysql root password is mysql at the rate one two three and then database name is employee underscore db and then new user uh, name is ramesh password is ramesh and here we need to provide the you know image name that is mysql colon latest all right perfect next so we are going to run this you know image in a detached mode that's why minus d option okay next hit enter and there we go the mysql image is successfully running in a mysql you know container next let's go ahead and let's type the command docker logs minus f to tail the logs and then followed by the container name so that is localhost so if you can notice here we have given the container name that is localhost right so notice here the option hyphen hyphen name localhost so localhost is basically a container name okay next hit enter and there we go we can able to see the logs for mysql database okay next if you want to check whether the mysql database is running in a docker container or not so we just need to log in into mysql database in a docker container so let me show you how to do that so just press ctrl c and here just type the command docker exec and then minus it and then followed by the container name that is local host and then followed by bash hit enter and there we go you can able to see the bash over here and within the bash so let me first exit and clear the terminal so that you can see it better so just type the command docker exec minus it localhost bash hit enter so this will you know jump into bash you know bash terminal bash shell basically and here we can type the command mysql hyphen hyphen u for user and then root and then p and then enter password that is mysql at the rate one two three and there we go we can see the mysql cell over here and here just type show databases and notice here employee underscore db database is successfully created it means we have successfully deployed mysql docker image in a docker container okay so this is how we pull the docker image from the docker hub and we run the docker image in a docker container all right great i will see you in the next lecture